Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and today I'm going to talk about the I Spit on Your Grave remake, which I just saw today. I've kind of been putting it off. I'm a big fan of the original, which kind of makes me sound like a cretin, but I have a hard time with remakes just because, you know, you love the classic, I guess, so much that it kind of just, for me at least, gives me a kind of icky feeling if I want to watch the remake and I sometimes go into it with a really narrow mind, which I got to work on because I was actually pleasantly surprised with this one. So if you haven't already seen the original, please do. It's, it's something that needs to be seen, especially if you're planning on watching the remake. The story is pretty much in the same line as the the original with the uh, female novelist that goes, you know, presumably down south to a cabin to be secluded so she can write her next um, novel and she doesn't want any of the distractions of the city around her to get in the way of that. So, of course, she bumps into a bunch of creepy dudes at a gas station and the one just keeps throwing sexual innuendos at her trying to, you know, man up and do whatever for her car and goes to close the gas, um, the thing where the, you know, you put the gas in the car. This makes me sound like an idiot. But he goes to close it and she's like, no, 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 no. Accidentally hits the panic button on her, you know, boop boop for her car and he kind of makes an ass out of himself and falls down because he gets frightened by the alarm, which then he acts super shitty to her. Even though she apologizes profusely, like, he kind of, he looked like an ass in front of his friends. So, cut to her at the cabin. She's writing, she's having a good time, she's smoking a little weed, drinking a little wine, and we realize that someone's filming her from somewhere outside the house. Like, really creepily. And it turns out to be said dudes who um, do horrible things to her. And if you've seen the original, you know where this is going. You kind of know what what these guys are going to do to her the second they see her. So I'm going to leave it off there. Spoiler free. Even if you've seen the original, it's, it's a bit different, I suppose. Not really, just it's, you know. So what did I like about the movie? I liked that it pissed me off so much. Watching certain aspects of this, she does um, go to a police officer and is trying to explain, you know, I know exactly who did this to me. This is what they did. And he's just walking around the cabin going, well, did they do this? Where there's like a broken wine glass. And he's like, well, you have to understand I've known these boys all their lives. And that made me furious because, you know especially if you're a woman, how those words feel if you're trying to bring justice to any situation that is male-dominated. And it's just, no matter how many times you try to explain yourself or restate the facts, they just won't listen to you. And I was furious. And that was the purpose of this, to invoke that feeling. And it really worked. I was so mad. Um, there's a certain line in the movie referring to someone's daughter and the guy's going oh she's just an innocent girl and our main character just looks at him dead in the face and says so was I and that too like oh like that just that hit me and it's unfortunate that I could you know really commiserate with how she felt but I did and that that was that was a great part of the movie also, the gore is so good. I feel like it's a thousand times better than the original. That's probably also, you know, budget, you know, constraints. And it was from the 70s. This one's more recent. There's more things they could do. There's more things that they would be able to get away with as filmmakers versus, you know, decades apart. That's just how it is. But it was so good. It was so believable. The ways, the, the, the torture parts, like, they really stepped their game up. I was really impressed. Like, good fucking job. So good. 
my dislikes. Um, I mean, the stuff I disliked about it is what made the movie so good. Like, I obviously don't want to see anyone, male, female, otherwise, go through anything like this. This is one of those horror movies that does get to me because it's not a zombie. It's not, you know, a creature. This happens all the time. This is a real thing. This is something that a lot of people worry about happening to them. And that's why it's so horrific. It was so realistic, you know. I really can't think of too much that I dislike about the movie. I feel like at no point did they ever try to make you feel any sympathy for the assailants. Because that would be wrong, obviously. And after what they did, there's no way. There's I, not one of them that I feel bad for. They did, they did a good job with that. I do totally recommend this movie. I feel like it's, you know, a solid, like, four out of five. It made me emotional. I got cringy with some of the stuff. There's a scene with um, eyelid torture. If you're new to the channel... I am visually impaired. I have a lot of stuff done to my eyes. I go to the the eye specialist like typically like once twice a month. So just having things done to my eyes, I I cringed a whole lot. Like I wanted them to happen to this person because they deserved it because they were shitty and terrible and evil. But I was also like, ooh, that's oh my god, that's disgusting. That's horrible. Good job. Um. I found this on uh, the Tubi app, that's T-U-B-I. I'm sure that it's available on other streaming platforms as well as physical copy. I feel like I, I always see it in a two-pack somewhere at Walmart or Best Buy, someplace like that. I'll get that information and put it down below as well as the release year and the director. Um, I, I really feel like if you want a visceral, like, hit you in the guts movie, you should check this out. It's not going to be a fun time, but you're, ooh, maybe it is a fun time because then you get that adrenaline rush. If you're into that, check it out. Um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Leave a comment with your thoughts. Did you prefer this over the original? Have you seen this? What are your thoughts on the original? I feel personally, I can't say that I liked one more so over the other because they're, they're complete. There's like at least 30 years between them. I don't think that's a fair comparison. Um, both movies are tough to watch, but the like rebirth part of the movie is always really satisfying to watch. So let me know what you thought. Uh, don't forget to like the video and hit the bell for all notifications of my future uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, on Instagram and Twitter at Reanimator, and you can also find my movie reviews, my solo ones, as well as the ones with the groom um, in podcast form via the Farsighted Network which is available on iTunes. Also, please check out their page on Facebook. And uh, they have really, really cool creators, all different kinds of content. I really dig them, and I think you guys should give them a chance. Um, and, yeah, those are my thoughts. I'm still a little, like, fucked up from watching this movie. But, all right, guys. Don't spit on my grave. See you guys later.